So you know, you know Gary the Goat? Oh, yes, I do. Can we film it? Yeah. yeah Where are you going? Port Macquarie. Macquarie. Okay, yeah, hop in. There's a bit of room here. Just, uh... Just going to speed yeah, everything Yeah, just out. lift How that box up. Yeah, and that oh, bottle of piss. I have for a while because I've just run out of credit, but... Yeah. Uh, me and my partner, we normally watch it. Yeah, he's all for it. All right, he's yeah. Like, I can't even get a oh, well, he can watch you. He can watch you hitchhiking. <laughs> just, yeah. He would be very nice. At least you're not getting into a car with a strange goat, are you? No, exactly. That's right. Yeah. Thank you so much. That's all right. I'm Jimbo. What was your name? Sarah. Sarah. Oh, cool. Nice to meet you, Doc. Yeah. And uh, going into port, yeah. Hi. Hey, Gary. Hi. Sarah's here. Hi, Gary. Sorry, he doesn't give a fuck. Is it normally, how long you been waiting for? Um, about 45. Oh really? Yeah. So most people fucking go past her, though? Um, some people do, some people are just like, they're really nice, they will stop, or some people it's just because there's not enough time to stop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you're an others, others, are, others are just in a hurry, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh well. Wow, well, I didn't think of it. <laughs> oh wow, that's so cool. Right near Port Macquarie. Yeah. Yeah, we did a gig up there last week at Telegraph Point. Yep. That's um, basically home for me, can't know, right? Oh, Telegraph Point? Yeah, yeah. So you know Roddy? Um, oh, he's the old drunk there. Uh, no, not really. Um, uh, just, yeah, some family out that way. Yeah, oh, cool. We're up on the prairie, so that's cool. <laughs> and I used to do a lot of hitchhiking in WA. How is it here now? Is it, you can usually get a lift? Do you do it much? Um, or is this? I've been homeless for the last two years. Have you? Yes. And where, where do you where do you sleep? Do you, um, in the tent. Where at? Uh, uh, in Lauridan. In Lauridan, really? Before that, um, basically lived all up and down the East Coast from Mackay all the way down to Sydney. Fuck, that's impressive. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of travelling. With your tent just moving around and stuff? I have a partner, um, a bag of clothes to eat. Uh, you tend to accumulate a lot of things on the travel. Yeah. So you tend to drop things off with parents. Yeah, because even when you're homeless and you're hitchhiking, you still pick up shit, don't you? I fucking do. I mean, fuck, look at this car. But like, uh... Oh, mate, you should see my tent. <laughs> if you think your car's bad. And is anyone else camping with you? Where do you camp in? Yeah, Lod my partner's normally with me. Um, we actually got woken up to the police last night. Oh, really? Yeah. And then you came over here, hey? Um, no, this is where we stayed, but he got arrested, so I'm... Last up. night in Q, in Q. In Lauren. In Lauren, and what, because you're camping? Um, I don't know, apparently he had a warrant, so yeah. I'm on my way in to save my boyfriend from going to jail. Apparently your boyfriend had a warrant. Yeah. Apparently. <laughs> well, oh, they busted me with a warrant once and I didn't know. Like they, yeah, so I know what that, I know what you mean. They, you just got to go and then sort it out, hey? Yeah, it's just a pain because I've got to go all the way to court and it's Saturday, so. Yeah, right. Oh. And where do you camp? Do you camp with others though? You got your boyfriend, is there a spot where, is there like a tent city in Loredan or? Oh. Yeah. We used to call it the tent city of Shazwa. Yeah, nice. Um, but we don't normally go out there much anymore. The Mozzies are pretty bad out there. Yeah, oh yeah. And um, so, but where are you now? You just found a nice quiet spot where um, you just... It's down near a place we used to live in the caravan park. Yeah, good. So we're not in the park, we're just in the bush. Yeah, nice. Um, because we've got friends to stay there, but normally we, we camp anywhere along the beach, in the bush. And, and where do you get food and money and all that? You just sort of... Um, Friends, friends, friends and family sort of help us out and uh, sometimes we go to the minis and stuff and they help you and yeah. if you need clothes and stuff there's like always heaps of stuff dumped out the front of the bins. Oh really? Yeah. Whatever yeah. is on the ground is for free. Yeah, well uh, Because if it's in the bin then it stays in the bin. It's, it's their property but if it's on the outside on the ground it's free it's game. It's free game. And so yeah, you never run out of clothes and stuff. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm sponsored by Vinnie's. It's, uh, and, um... Oh, yeah? Oh, you know, as in I find a few free things. And yeah, yeah. Occasionally pay two bucks. And yeah, I'm yeah. really poor, you flog them. I mean, you can really outrun those 80-year-old ladies on the counter, can't you? <laughs> but, you know, I'll pay them next well, time. I but... always shop in the op shops because you always find the best stuff there. And, and do you feel like, um, do you, do you want a home or is it sort of... Yes, I do. Um, basically, um, uh, been for a hard time long as Yeah, no, I've got seven kids with him and I've had to give my kids up and I've lost my home and everything. And you had 
seven kids with your husband? Yes. How old are they? What age? Um, between 11 and 3. Fuck, you pumped them out. <laughs> well, the good thing is I can't have any more. <laughs> and when was the last time you saw them? Um, I seen three of them a couple of days ago, but the other four I haven't seen for a couple of months. Yeah, right. So you vaguely got track of them and stuff. Yeah. I normally speak to the ones my mum has, which is here, yeah. um, once a week. But the other kids I've only just got contact because, yeah, they're with the husband's dad and he doesn't give me a lot of contact with the kids. And how old are you? I'm 28. 28, seven kids, your husband died, you've been homeless for two years and you still got a smile on your face? Yes. Fucking good on you, hey? You know, yeah. I mean, in life you need some challenges and you've got a few. Oh, definitely. And uh, something's keeping you going, it's good, hey? Yeah, yeah, my partner mostly, he sort of pushed me every day, like, just do the right thing, let's get your kids back. And, um, yeah. He's only 22, which is really freaky. A lot of people go, wow, like, that's a lot of age difference. But no, he, um, he's bursting for me. He's what? He's bursting for me. Oh, that's good. And so you, you both got your goals and your dreams. and Yeah, yeah. You might go on and have another seven kids with him. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Definitely planning on getting remarried. Yeah, oh, good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And we've been talking about having a baby, but yeah. that's that's not quite on the plate yet. No. Getting a home comes first. No, no. Well, you know, hopefully you've got enough money for condoms. <laughs> don't need that, thank God. And um, you don't need condoms? No. How come? Because i got the <laughs> Gary's been snipped as well. Yeah. Well, so and, good, eh, Gary? <laughs> and what? What are the advantages? I've sort of slept out a bit, not as much as you, in London when I was having a go comedy years ago. Yeah. And I mean, fresh air is good, isn't it? Oh you, yeah, definitely. You, you realise when you're in a stuffy room in a house, you don't get as good oxygen to your brain, and you don't sleep as well, hey? No. And as long as people aren't hassling you, yeah, then we're fine. You've got something to cuddle. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's I'm, the best thing. <laughs> That's the best bit, eh? Yeah, it is, yeah, isn't it? it is. Hey, Gary. Yeah, as long as I don't get a horn in my eye, I'll, 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 I'll love it. <laughs> no, he's right. He's sitting with his children. And, is it, and um, yeah, that's great. And the police sort of obviously hassle you every now and again and stuff. Um, yeah, every now and again, mostly because they just want to make sure that we're doing the right thing um, and that we're not drug-related or anything, which yep. we're not, which is good. Yeah, and the obvious thing is people go drug related, but you you, you look clean and you know, you. bright and happy. And, Thank you. Yeah. Um, I've I've fought really hard to stay off the drugs, you know. Yeah, you've every, been you've every, been how long you been clean for? Um, I've been clean for over twelve months. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty good. It's having yeah. I'm home free will without any drugs or doctors or anything. Well done. Yeah. Well, you can see the sparkle in your eyes. You've done it. <laughs> and your boy, and it's good. Your boyfriend's um trying to be clean as well. Well, he doesn't. Yeah, great. So he, he was the one that inspired me to continue on and do it without it and get my kids back and do the right thing and that's what I plan on doing. Great. And how long did it take to get off, off the drugs? Was, was it sort of... Um, it's a very long flight. Like sometimes you can go a couple of months and everybody screws up. Yeah. You know, so every couple of months you just try to make it a little bit longer each time. Yeah, yeah. Once you hit 12 months, that's it. You should be able to just walk away and say no. So, as in cigarettes, alcohol, um, dope? No, as in like um, the rock that's going around that ice, crap, and yep. um, anything synthetic. Synthetic, synthetic yeah. is bad. Um, pharmaceutical drugs, they're bad too, but if you take them the way you're supposed to, then they're all yeah, right. In the US, there's more overdoses for pharmaceutical drugs than illegal drugs. Well, so. that's what I lost my husband to, you know. Yeah, what so, drug? Um, he was on their fentanyl patches. The what patches? It's a fentanyl patch. Yeah, for what? It's a painkiller. Yeah. It's a clear patch you put on your skin. So pretty well when your husband died and you got seven kids, you really spiraled down. Yeah. Hit the drugs a bit. Yeah. And hit rock bottom really bad to the point where um, I was almost ready to sell myself to get whatever I wanted. Yeah. And um, then I met Karen and he changed my whole life. Yeah, great. And you met him while you were on the streets? Yes. How long were you on the streets before you met him? Um, Wow, and you survived for a month by yourself? Yeah, and um, basically I made him wait four months to be my friend. Um, he used to get me up every day and make me smile and stuff. And um, then I told him that I was ready to be his girlfriend and then, yeah. Yeah, you so say you got four so months four months probation and he passed the yeah, test? Yeah, yeah, and he passed all the tests. Yeah. Well, that was, um, what was your name again, sorry? Sarah. Sarah, that's such a sweet story. Thank you.
and it just shows that you know you can stuff up and go down some different roads in life but you can always turn things around hey yeah definitely and i hope, hope you do that and i hope you get to port macquarie and hope you yeah, get yeah. him out of the um out of the watch <laughs> oh my god that's terrible isn't it well i got i got caught i was doing a bit of um Speaking of health, I was got, got right into urine therapy, right? During yeah. my piss, I was giving a demonstration to a public and a doctor. Anyway, they busted me for offensive behaviour, and I didn't accept it, so they loaded it on willful and obscene exposure, what? which is a low-level sex crime, right? Yeah, yeah. And just to really fucking put the pressure on me yeah. to accept the first charge. I didn't know. I was in Victoria. The cops do a what I um. I scan on my number plate and work out that I'm, I've got a warrant out me for a sex crime, which I didn't know, right? <laughs> so they've, yeah, they've got back up and come up to me in the caravan park and they've opened the back door and they've just seen me in the back cuddling Gary. Oh no! And they're going, fuck, what type of a sex offender is this guy? <laughs> so yeah, when it went to, you know, stop being extradited, went to court, went to mention and I know your boyfriend's going to be dragged through all this taxpayer-funded fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. bullshit for whatever happened, and um, yeah, you just got to um, just got to fucking ride it, don't you? Yeah, definitely. I've, I've done enough court stuff myself, you know. So, my yeah. husband was always in and out of, out of court, and then he went to jail. And um, I was in and out of court due to driving charges. So, yeah, um, Sarah doesn't drive without a license. Sarah gets everybody else to drive me. You just seem like you've really, I mean, there can be a lot of people cynical about your situation, but you've really, um, you know, you got off the drugs and you're doing all the rules and yeah. you're making sure your boyfriend's clean and, yeah. uh, and you're going to support him. And um, it's, it's great, Sarah. Yeah, I know, right? I'm trying my best anyway. <laughs> trying your best. Hey, Gary. Hey, Gary. That's all you can do in life is keep trying your best even when you fuck that's, up, that's hey? That's all you can do. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, we're going to Port Macquarie. Yeah. Oh my god! I'm freaking out! Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, it's. Can't believe it's us, eh? Yeah. yeah I, I know, I, right? Can't. Gary, even, even, as homeless, even homeless chicks in Port Macquarie know you. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But I think. Everyone the thing about this. Gary. Yeah, everyone knows Gary? Oh, yeah, everyone cool. Everyone knows Gary. Well, the thing about this, um being homeless as well from my experience and what I like to promote as well is you want things and you need help but there's a lot of stuff at the bottom end of society which is actually better than the top yeah, definitely. there's a lot of freedoms you know you get hassled a bit but there's a lot of freedoms and simplicities which I, uh, the, best, the best freedom of being homeless is no rent no rent yeah no rent it's a little bit extra for toilet paper and stuff, but no rent is the best. No electricity bills, no water bills. Um, you not know, have to worry about where your money is all the time. And money isn't an issue, you know, and things are just things. As, all that matters is as long as you're the person you live with gets by every day. Yeah, well, you can, like, that money pressure is constant, I know. Yeah. We're trying to still pay up. And, and the cause is more stress to hit the piss or something like that, which well, gets you in more debt, hey? Well, a lot of people, yes, for me, I don't drink, so yeah. I'm, I'm the sort of person that, like you, you sort of walk into people's lives and go, hey, look, let's change it, you know, without doing anything. Yeah, you know? well, yeah. People just listen to my story and they're like, wow, you know, like, you've been through so much. Yeah, well, um... Not that I like to talk about myself probably. <laughs> No, well, it, it's great. Well, you don't, as a homeless person, you're more of a listener as well, aren't you, yes, to other definitely. people? Um, we find that when we're as a group of us, we will all sit together. Um, we will camp together. It's a lot safer in numbers. Yeah. Um, because people tend to steal your things. Like, Well, that's it. It's like, I mean, it's like with packs of dogs or goats or whatever, they sleep yeah. together. When you, essentially, the main thing, even more than being warm or cold, is you're safe. When you yeah. close your eyes, you want to know you're not. You're, you're yeah, in the yeah. most vulnerable state you are. Hey? Yeah, definitely. So you want. It's good to have more people around for that reason. You know, like it's, uh, it's not just the extra set of hands for the fire or or an extra set of hands for cooking. It's it's an extra set of eyes and ears for everybody around. People
people have got your back, hey? Yeah, that's and right. and in when you get that situation homeless, you're off in a better situation. A lot of people are just living by themselves. And well, we tend to have a lot of um, strays on the side of the road, a lot of young ones. Yep. Um, teenage boys and girls, mostly boys. Um, we found, especially around port. This is the turn off the port, huh? that... Um, And then, yeah, that's port. Oh, uh, is that port, is it? Yep. Fuck, right up. Oh, yeah, it's never too late in life to change directions. <laughs> Is anyone behind me? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, so you get a lot of boys and... Yeah, yeah, we, um, what we do is we tend to come and bring them to the community where all our tents are, yeah. our, like, little tent cities that we have. We tend to all separate a lot. We tend to move out because yeah. a lot of us have family and stuff that we want to go see. So yeah, yeah, and you're like... Clear to go. <laughs> and you're like, long term, you must see a few get off the, you know, on the streets and they're just there for a week and they just need a kick up. Yep, a lot of them do. Um, some some of them just need, like, because they're already almost there. Yeah. That extra boost, like, sometimes it's some self-esteem or somebody just say, hey, look, you're doing really well, like, don't stop now. And, um, and, so and, it sort of boosts them along to the next sort of... Yeah, but especially when you have fucked up and you know when people pay you out, you go, yeah, I know, but you, you go, I'm going to keep going. Yeah. What, what's your and and so for you? Do you have computer, email, and Facebook and um, stuff no, like that? We have phones, but um, it's like the, there's no power. That's the problem with no power. We yeah. have a lot of power banks. They're the ones that you can charge up. And yeah. Always charge the phone, but yeah. So you don't have an email or? Um, yeah, I have an email address, all that sort of stuff. People can find me on Facebook, and, but I'm not under my real name. So yeah, there yeah. you go. You won't find me on Facebook. What's your email? Um, my email is actually my partner. Yeah. Yeah, it's um right kids at nine at gmail.com. So it's W R I G H T K I Z Z A is his nickname, yeah. Nine at gmail.com. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah. If anyone wants to send you guys a note. And so what would it take for you to get a house? Um, well, what's the minimum you need to get a house? Um, well, it's not minimum, it's what we need to get a house. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, like what are you waiting for? Are you sort of waiting um, for a job or a bit of money or Well, I've only just got back into town. Yeah. Um, I've been in Queensland for the last um twelve and a bit months. Yeah. Yep. So we're just looking for a place to live now and putting in for housing and um, putting in the applications and, and yeah, 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 all that sort of stuff. Looking in places. Hey, can you get the doll while you're on the streets and all that? Um, yeah, well, you're on the doll, but you got to look for work. Yep. Um, if you miss your appointments, you get cut off, but we always go and fix our appointments. So, how much do you get for the doll each week? How much is um, it? Um, well, I only get 400 um, a fortnight. Yeah, four, so 200 a week's not. Yeah, it's not. On, it's not enough. You know, between it's thirty bucks a week. Between me and my partner, we get seven hundred dollars to eight hundred dollars a fortnight, and it's not enough to live on for the fortnight. Yeah, it's about thirty bucks each. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, because when you're homeless and stuff, and going for jobs, you've slept in. You got to find a shower and get your shit together, yeah. and um, it's really hard. Yeah. A top. lot of people sort of take one look at you and they get yeah, right, you're homeless. Like, look how clean you are. Yeah, they can tell. I mean, it's not the thing you mentioned in the job Just interview straight have, up. Well, it's not. Sorry, I'm late. I, I tend to have a shower every day, so. Yeah. I always look clean. Somebody's always offering a shower. Or um, there's always a friend's place you can stop off to and they'll feed you. Yeah. Or something like that. So you're never, never without. There's always somewhere to go, someone to help. The churches are run with all their um, cooking things and stuff like that. And, and what type of job would you like? Like, what, what are you passionate about? Um, well, I want to be a midwife. Yeah, right. Yeah. Well, I suppose you've had a bit of experience delivering. Yes, I have. Um, but that includes going back to TAFE. Um, so I can't do that until I get a home because yep. that means study and study means you need proper sleep. So, yeah. Yeah, study means you need proper um, sleep. Just and a job at Woolworths or Palace with DV for now. Yeah, just yeah. to get you up because, like you say, if you study at night, you need a light and all this. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, you've got dreams. Yes, I do. And if you don't have dreams, especially something that's a bit fucking hard to get, yeah, yeah, I know, right? It's hard to keep going. Everybody always says, like, Mum always says, set your goals. Just have the ones that you got on your plate now, and have the other ones later on. That's right. And your yeah. goal is to get your boyfriend out of fucking <laughs> the cops' hands. <laughs> hands. Oh, yeah. Take him home. <laughs> we'll see him soon. What's your life like when you're not behind the camera? Um, I mean. You just travel a lot like pretty, that. Pretty quiet, really. We, we go in pretty hard. And like you say, 
we need somewhere to edit each night to do the videos and just rest up and um, yeah. I'm kind of lucky in the sense I realise I've turned into the guy for a lot of people oh, I'd love if you come over to my place yeah. and get on it with me you know what I mean yeah, I know, and it's right. like oh, like I don't really drink I'll drink just to be social have one or two yeah. right? not to be rude and it's like, oh yeah, Gary, yeah, we've got some grass for Gary, but there's fucking grass everywhere, yeah, hey. I know, right? It's like, oh, mate, I don't really need to go to your house and have beers and have grass for Gary and <laughs> accommodation. I'll just fucking sleep in my car or stay somewhere or whatever, so. You know, sometimes people do it out of the kindness of their own heart. It is, I don't know really what to say. It's like, man, if you really want to support me, just fucking send me five bucks instead of buying me a beer, you know what I mean? I know, right? I can do it the five bucks. No, I want you to drink with me. <laughs> like, so, uh, yeah. No, just send me the money. I can do with the money. Well, I've got, a guy, I've got a guy in Coffs, the Coffs Harbour now, and I thought he was from the TV station. He's going down from the TV station. I thought, oh, yeah, he might do a little ad on our show, which helps, because that's my main source, of, only source of income. Yeah. And it ends up like he's going, oh, I know all these rich people in Coffs Harbour, and we'll pick you up, and we'll drive you around. It's like, you just want me to do free gigs for your friend at his wedding, go around advertise their business and hang out with you and it's like yeah you go over to my place and I'll give you a few beers and Gary can have some grass it's like fuck man I'll be worn out man <laughs> hang out with rich people I'd rather hang out with fucking Sarah the stories are more interesting I know right <laughs> no I like um I know some people in Cosmo you know how I know a lot of people but I've met some really crazy people along the way yeah you What's the craziest ass motherfucker you've met on the uh, road? This dickhead on the side of the road in the middle of port. He was um, sitting there staring like this at, at the ground. And I'm going, what are you looking at? And he goes, the bugs. And I said, what about the bugs? I said, they're always out. It's night time. And he goes, nah. He goes, I've worked out a way to kill them. I said, what do you mean? He goes, see this can? It was an aerosol can for your deodorant. He goes, it's got aluminium in it. It kills your bugs. They're gonna overtake us and we're all gonna die. And it's all supposed to be part of this millennium thing that they've been going on about that we're all gonna die for all these years. Yeah. Yeah, well, this bloke, he really thought, he thought he found the tree of life and everything. Went on and on and on for like six hours. Would not let me go and find somewhere to sleep. I finally did this bloke, I swore, I, I never wanted to see him. I have never seen him again, I'm so glad I have him. Yeah. But I walked him home. Yeah, nice. That was the nice thing. Well, I you, walked him you home. You walked him home to his house? No, to his tent. Yeah, to his tent. Yeah, and left him with his tent and bailed. And was he a bit fucked up on um, drugs or just... Uh, I don't know. I just know he was a very, very fucked in the head. Oh, well, if the bugs will kill us, we can go, fuck, that cunt was right. Well, he reckons the spiders are all our friends and that um, bugs are going to kill us and, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's not very cool. And the ants are our friends too. They're on our side. And the goats are our friends too, aren't they, Gary? The goats are our friends. We've got Gary in the back here. Oh, yeah. So, what you're saying, it's hard to get housing because a lot of older people own the houses, they don't want young people. Yeah, yeah. A lot of them say no to kids. Like, it's a five bedroom house. Why the hell put the five bedroom house up for rent if you're not going to let people with kids? Like rent it. Yeah, oh, so you want to get all your kids back in there and go oh, for yeah, it? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I, want, I want my kids So back. they haven't been That's... legally taken away from you. You just um, Your mum and everyone's just sort my of... My mum has um, 100% custody until the kids are 18 and the three she has. Yeah. The other four are in care of the um, the other kids. Yeah. Yeah, and the other three are in the government, as you will. And getting a house... Where, where, how old were you when you first had your kid? Um, my first one, I was 17. Yeah, right. So you really haven't worked. You, you were... You've, I've been a mum the whole You've time. been your mum your whole life. Yep. Childhood straight to mumhood. Yep. And getting a place to rent is pretty hard when you've got no employment record yep. or um, no place of residence because yep. you've been homeless. Or you have no record because when your husband passes away or your record of renting disappears. Oh, right, because it was with him. Yes, because he was the main applicant. Okay, yeah. Like me, basically. So do you, do, you, do you tell them straight up? Do you have to tell them, look, this is my situation, I've well, been homeless? Your best option is to be straightforward and honest. Yep. Um, if you're not, if then you come um, back to... you, you get a 10 to be told no one So, yeah, you're really looking for someone in Port Macquarie to give you guys a break. Yeah, technically. That's all we want. We just want a break. Someone who will give you a place, you can come up with a rent. Actually, try their hardest to get a place and actually keep that place. You know. Like, yeah. 
and you're going to look after through, it. Everybody goes through struggles. Well, I've always looked after all my houses. Um, yep. The last one that I was with, the last one that I was doing was kind of the last housing that I was with, um, because my husband was so badly on the on the pharmaceutical drugs and they were taking him downhill and stuff like things got a bit out of control. It's, it's a bit hard to take care of a 28 year old and seven kids and take care of yourself and do all the housework and stop someone from dying every five seconds, you know. So my last house wasn't too good. But the, the, all the ones before that You have were, a few less responsibilities now and a bit more... Yeah, you know, it gets hard some days. Bit more incentive, yeah. Well, that's great. So, the pharmaceutical drugs they're the killers, they're the ones that straight are ahead. Taken away. Yes, please. So, he just you could tell him they what do you get on there for pain relief or um, they're pain relief patches. People are mixing them up and shooting them in like intravenously, and um, which is not very good for you, it can kill you really bad. So, there's a lot of uh, illegal farm drug use on yes. the streets as well, always, yeah, oxycodons, um, cericles. Valiums, just here. Um, yeah, just right away. Just here? Yeah, yeah. Where's the courthouse? Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Well, um. So, yeah, no, a lot of it is. is, is Zennies are the worst. Zennies, oxys, and, and um, then fentanyl patches, they're the worst. Yeah, right. They're the ones killing all the people we love. Okay. And we're losing a lot of people. Yeah. So, yeah. We're not going to sit here and talk about pharmaceutical no, drugs. No, no, but that's. Uh, but people kind of need to know. They've got yeah, exactly. like a, a thing or a mum. Um, I'm not the only one who's said something about this fentanyl and a few other people getting involved as well. So. Just sit oh. It was nice to meet you. That was like pretty crazy that it had to be you of all people that just sort of picked me up. Yeah, well, yeah, no, cheers. Well, Sarah, it's nice fucking meeting you too, you know? Yeah, Sydney. yeah. I've had a good fucking morning already and I haven't even really started yet. Well, I hope it turns out alright and uh, I'm fucking. Do you smoke cigarettes? No, no, I don't smoke cigarettes. That's cigarette. good. Smoking's not good for you. There you go. There's 25 bucks. What? You are got, you serious? Yeah, you go and fucking buy your boyfriend some fucking you, lunch or something. Are you, are you full serious? I'm full on serious. There's not oh, much money. Oh, no, I can't do that. I'm no, 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 you have it. You have it, okay? I know, you, I know it's not in your... Uh, nature oh but God. it's uh yeah no i know what it's like people think you guys have just got heaps of money but a little bit fucking helps man oh my God. don't do that it's all right, especially yeah. not on camera it's oh all right, yeah. you're lucky you even got me on camera tears are good for reality <laughs> shows i know right <laughs> no you're a legend thanks gary thanks Tom. no worries you're the bomb i'm gonna go go and see my boyfriend yeah and um yeah send us a message down the track let yes, us know I'm how you're going you're yeah. on facebook aren't you? yeah yeah and you'll be on Facebook too soon, yeah, Sarah. Um, I'm under Jade Wright. J what? Jade Wright. J A D. E. Yeah. Right. W R I D H. Okay. It's a. Um, I think it's. Oh, it's a picture of me and my partner. Picture of you and your partner. Yeah. Okay. Jade Wright. So if you really want to help Jade out, even though her name's Sarah and she's going <laughs> by an alias, because that's what you do when you're on the streets and on the run. Yeah, you gotta have two names. <laughs> gotta have a few names. Gotta have a hundred names sometimes. No. Not right. really. <laughs> Thank you very much, Lee. No worries. I'm going to give you a hug, but I'm going to have to come around. Thank you so much. Thanks, Sarah. You're a legend. No. You. Have a lovely day. Yeah. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye, See ya. Hey, Gary. Wasn't she nice? And Sarah, if you see this video, fucking let us know how you go.